Welcome to the channel RIK Learner for JE Mains and Advanced. Today's question is a block of uh, mass 2m is uh, hanging at uh, the lower end of a rope of mass m and length l, the other end being fixed to the ceiling. The pulse of wavelength lambda o is produced at the lower end of the rope. The first question is the wavelength of the pulse when it uh, reaches the other end of the rope is we are having four options under root 3 lambda o b under root 3 by 2 lambda o option c lambda o and option d lambda o by 2 okay this is the first question uh, of this paragraph and here what actually we have to find is see uh, the roof is here and I assume this is a uh, the thick rope and the hanging mass is here right so this mass is of value 2 m and the the mass of this rope okay so mass of this rope itself is so mass of uh, this rope is m and length l this is what they have given and now what actually i have to find i have to find the wavelength of uh, the pulse what it is produced here okay so the pulse what we give here is of uh, wavelength lambda o when it reaches this end what will be the uh, wavelength okay this is the question so we have to find the wavelength here see for this situation uh, here okay here uh, what I can write the velocity of the wave is lambda into I mean f into lambda o where f stands for the frequency of the uh, pulse v o is uh, the speed Okay, so this is uh, the speed, this is the frequency and no doubt this is wavelength. Okay, so when the same pulse reaches this end here, okay, here the velocity is simply I call V and which is again equal to F multiplied by lambda. Be careful, I changed the symbols a little bit. Instead of VO, I called V. Velocity changes when the wave reaches from this point to this point. Uh, wavelength also changes. Here, the wavelength is said lambda O. Here, the wavelength becomes lambda. But observe, the frequency still remains as it is. Okay, this is the nature of uh, the wave on uh, a material medium. The frequency simply depends on uh, the type of the source, how actually, how frequently uh, the source is producing the wave. Okay, so frequency remains constant, remains constant. Okay, so now what I do, I simply divide these two. Well, it is V divided by VO, which is equals F into lambda divided by it is f into lambda o further what i can do i can simply cancel these two terms and this becomes lambda divided by lambda o okay so otherwise i simply make some rearrangements it's v divided by v o and is multiplied by lambda o further you must note that the speed of the wave the speed of the wave uh, in material medium in uh, material medium material uh, medium okay material medium like solids here is the string is given by v is equals under root t divided by mu this T is uh, the tension 
and this mu is mass per unit length of the string okay at this point where well, at this point the tension becomes okay so the tension is i call tvo the tension is tvo and which is equal to uh, what is the mass which is uh, observed 2m okay this is the mass multiplied by g this is the tension uh, in the thread i mean rope at this point okay so 2m into g this is uh, the tension and how much is uh, the mass per unit length it is m divided by l this is uh, the mass of the rope and uh, which is divided by this l right so the length of the rope if, if i divide these two okay so divide these two divide it you get tvo divided by mu is equal to it is 2g into l right so when you take the root on both sides like this you will get vo okay so this is the value of a uh, vo what i should write here and further when the wave reaches here the tension in the rope is simply i call at this point okay so at that point uh, the tension becomes t which is equals the total mass which is the sum of the mass of this block as well as uh, the rope rope is of uh, mass m right so the total mass is 2m plus m which is multiplied by g and again the term mu is uh, m divided by l again divide this okay so when you divide these two you get uh, t divided by mu is equal to uh, it is a 3m into g divided by m by l otherwise 3g l right so if i take the root on either side right so here like this and this becomes v this is the speed of the pulse at this point okay so finally what i have to do finally i simply do this thing which is uh, this one which is lambda is equals what is v v is this one right which is uh, nothing but what i can write it is 3 gl under root divided by vo vo is already written which is under root 2 gl and is multiplied by the term lambda o right so this is lambda is equal to it is root 3 divided by 2 into lambda o right this is said in option b so for this question option b is our answer and the second question in the paragraph is the speed of the pulse at the midpoint of a rope is option a under root 5 by 2 gl option b under root 5 by 3 gl option c under root 2 by 5 gl option d root g by 2 l so the well for this situation uh, what we have to find is you know the rope is like this and here is the mass we are asked to find the speed of the pulse here which is the midpoint okay the tension at this point is t is equals this mass is 2m and the portion of uh, this much right of the rope this much is m by 2 so that m by 2 because the complete mass of the rope is m so what i should do it is 2m plus m divided by 2 which is multiplied by g this is the tension of the system at this point okay so this is acting upward right so t is equals 2m this much so this is becomes uh, how much it is 2.5 m g otherwise i can say which is 5 by 2 m g and now i simply do t divided by mu because i already said v is equals 
root of t divided by mu this is what i have to find now the speed at uh, the midpoint this is equal to root of it is 5 by 2 mg and whole divided by this mu is m by l which is mass per unit length of the rope and this is definitely uh, how much m m get cancelled under root 5 by 2 gl so this is a uh, the best choice so this is correctly said in option c okay so this is our answer